do believe that that dip to 45 is needed before Bitcoin runs. And then from there, I've seen maybe like 68 and maybe with the overshoot to 74-ish. Crypto slightly more crypto gains. What's going on guys? Just getting back from the gym, taking my daily drive. So today's topic is Bitcoin. I know you're watching the charts. I know you're refreshing your blockfolio and you're like, where's Slow at? Why isn't he telling us what's going on in the markets? Because you probably don't want to hear what I have to say today. So I want to talk about Bitcoin's near-term price prediction and also some strategies and also how not to get wrecked with this whole thing. So if you've been watching the charts, you know that Bitcoin had an epic run of 33 or 34 bars on the weekly average on the 21 day um, above the 21 day. The average or mean was about 13 to 14. So basically, um, Bitcoin's run was way above the probabilistic averages of you know staying above the 21 day. So what does that mean? Uh, that means that a pullback to the 21 day for a test is very probable and likely. You know, we always talk about what's possible, but really what matters is what's probable. So it is probabilistic that we could see, you know, we're getting all this chop, it's weekend. You really don't know. Like I said, I usually don't trade on the weekend just because the volume is easily manipulated um, and you can get wrecked. But I know I just don't trade my Bitcoin anyway. So, um, but it, the importance of this video is more about your alt alt bags and such. So, if we go down, and when when we go down to that forty five k, basically the alts alt bags will get slaughtered. Okay, so if you're in an alt and your cost average is not like you know the best. The worst thing you can do, the worst thing you can do is to sell your alts on a Bitcoin dip. That is just a sure way to lose a massive, massive amount of your portfolio. Now on the ERC20 side, because Ethereum price has been holding better than usual, um, probabilistically we almost kind of expect Ethereum to run while Bitcoin dips. Um, at least that's what happened in 17. Um, so I don't think the ERC-20s are necessarily going to get hit as bad. But things like Cardano, um, you know, coins like that, you know, Bitcoin goes to 45 and you're going to see a massive drop. And what I recommend is I personally won't sell any alts on a Bitcoin dip. I try to only sell alts on, um, you know, green candles, as I've talked before. So... Another strategy is if you're up on some of your alts, maybe get a little uh, a USD bag, you know, on the side, a couple percent, and, you know, have that ready to snag some alts when, you know, when and if Bitcoin drops to that 45. So that's another strategy. You know, I've been trying to slowly start building my alt bags, my, uh, my stable bags, you know, for dips. And, you know, I'll admit it's hard to hold those stable coins because it seems like as soon as you get a stable coin all that happens is bitcoin goes up i mean it never fails um so you know you need to wait for um a true dip now as far as that 21 day you know that's 45 it could overshoot you know and dip below that and then the dip will get bought uh, but it's going to be a huge test 21 day is going to be a huge test to see if it can hold. Um, I do believe that that dip to 45 is needed before Bitcoin runs. And then from there, I've seen maybe like 68 and maybe with the overshoot to 74 ish. That's kind of, that's come up with some of my near term price targets. You know, as I've said before, you know, I'm looking for that Bitcoin 100K so that I can um, 
quit my day job and you know go to to um, crypto, being in crypto full time, um, you know, supporting projects and just being involved in the space. So the takeaways from the video today: don't act surprised if Bitcoin drops to the 21 day. Okay, 45. Don't be surprised. Well, number one. Number two. Know that a lot of alts are going to get slaughtered in an over-exaggerated sell-off if Bitcoin dips. Okay. As always, watch this, this Satoshi value in your block folio. You can toggle that by clicking on your uh, your block folio, um, you know, portfolio amount cycle between euros, Bitcoin, and USD. Um, number three. If you're up on some alts, maybe pull them to the side, low USD, and you know, snag up some alt bags, you know, on the dip. Now, if this this dip happens, I might consider picking up a little Cardano. You know, if it dips down to like 75 cents, 80 cents, I might I might pick up a little bag. We'll see. I'm still not convinced on it, um, you know, because I feel like the money's already been made on it. So. But, but anyways, so that is today's video. Um, I got a lot of other things going on. Uh, I know Matic has dropped. I'm just continuing to DCA into Matic, uh, you know, waiting for that ETH pump. Cause I think when ETH pumps, you know, Matic will see that $1 range, you know, no problem. So um, yeah, yeah. But watch your loan to value ratios um, on Aave make sure you know, you got some padding. I, like I said, I've been trying to keep it at 30 or below um, just to make sure I sleep at night. So that is it. That is today's video. Um, like, subscribe, and as always, this is Crypto Slow. If you're not talking games, then we're not talking.